Hey guys, um, it's about 4.30, uh, Ron already left, um, so, I guess we're supposed to have the footing inspection tomorrow, and, uh, Ron wants to pour, um, pour the concrete on, um, Thursday, so, I don't know, that doesn't look like it's gonna happen though, so there's a lot more to dig. Those are for the footings, I guess. Same with those over there. And uh, those right there. Those, um... That's, a. Uh, let me think of it. That's, uh, forms for the, um... Like, when you, when you got a truckload of cement, you have to, like, provide them a place to dump the extra cement. So he takes, he made those, and um, he uses them for bins for his materials, like stone and not mulch, but dirt, topsoil. He sells topsoil too. I don't know how much he sells, but so um, he was over here before any of this dirt was here, and. Um, the track came off. One of the tracks came off the excavator. So it took five to ten minutes to put um back on. You could hear the pump. Cause um well basically earlier this morning I guess, um this hole was like filling with water from just like groundwater and I don't even know what else, but like from the snow melt, the melted snow and stuff, that's why that's all water over there, and um, right here's the front of the garage, right here where the stake is, he hammered it in with the bucket of the excavator, it was kind of cool, but yeah, they put these tarps over here, did he break that rig? No, I broke that rig. Um, so yeah, now you can, I think now you can see the, uh, the actual size of it. Trying to figure out why this tarp goes all the way over there. But, um, so yeah, it's all the way down there. There's another pump right there. But, yeah, I think he said he has a hose going way back there. Also, I had an extension cord going from this outlet over there, right there, along the fence here, to my shed, because I didn't have, like, actual electricity in it. Still, right? Well, I don't know where it is, but I'm pretty sure it was under this pile. Yeah, it definitely was. Oh, maybe they connected it right there. Yeah, that'd be easy. But, um, so I figured out how they moved my laser. My dad was here, I guess, and, um, so when Ron moved the shed, he didn't take the laser out. But it had a dead battery. So, what they did was, they released the hydros, they pushed out onto the ramp, and then they, um, they fucking picked it up with the forks on the bobcat from the side. I'm kind of pissed about that. I still need to check it out and see if it's fucked up or anything. But there's just not enough room in here. I need to take it out and charge the battery. Then I can take it out. But... gloves. Yeah, I don't usually put it in this way either. My dad put it in here. But, yeah, it better not be fucked up. But I gotta get it out by the end of the month so I have enough time to get it fixed if it is fucked up. But I'm not paying for that. My dad or Ron is. 
So, yeah. So not too much got done today. And, but, tomorrow, I guess he should have the rest of it dug. If there aren't any more water problems, because this pump will be running all night. There should be at least. But, yeah, it's, he still has to dig, like, that's only half done now. Pretty sure he has to do it all the way across here, even though, yeah, he definitely does. But, I don't know if he's going to be pouring the, um, the pad on Thursday, too, or just the footings, or, I don't know, but we'll find out. Here's all my shit piled in here. It's exactly what I like. Actually, no, it's not at all. I don't want all my shit in here, but I don't need it right now, so whatever. But, yeah, it's, it's gonna be really nice. At least it doesn't f affect our rooms or anything, so we can still sleep without having to sleep in the same room. I think I showed you guys the way we were sleeping. I, we had, um, is my mattress in the living room on the floor. And me and my brother switched off from the mattress to the couch every, like, two weeks or whatever. Like, I'd have it two weeks, and he'd have the bed two weeks. Because, well, why would you want to sleep on the couch? You know? <laughs> but we had to, so... Uh, my parents had their bed in the, the dining room. So, yeah. It's really fucking muddy out here. But. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. You can see where, like, the fence is so much lighter where my shed was. And that's all, like, weathered more. <laughs> It's funny, because um, right after we put my shed together, so it was like two or three, yeah, two or three or four years ago, and um, me and my neighbor, Will, right, he lived, well, he lived in that blue house. We, I helped him put it up, so yeah, I also helped him build that blue shed. I think it's another blue shed right there. Downs. It has like a huge ass hole in the side of it. It's all rotted and shit, but he moved. Yeah, but he still owns the house. He might move back. I don't know. But yeah, it's getting kind of long, so see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll definitely have another video up tomorrow. So yeah, see you later.